What's up guys, welcome back to Bar for Life Report. Today we're gonna to be talking about some of my favorite cocktail books. We've been getting hit up by people in the comments asking about what cocktail books they should get, what should they read, where, what, I'm just beginning my journey, what should I get? I'm more advanced, what should I get? So today I put together a list of three books that I really like, and I think you're gonna to like too. Let's get into it. So the first book we're gonna be talking about today is David Wondrich's Imbibe, uh, written 2007. So this is the book that really sparked my just deep interest into the history of cocktails and really, it sort of put together the idea that cocktails in American history and really important events and even just human history really go hand in hand. I don't know, I kind of feel like I got to give you guys a little bit of a, a background on David Wondrich. So David Wondrich wrote this book after being introduced to uh, Jerry Thomas's Bon Vivant's Companion. And what he decided to do, which was pretty fantastic, was to write a little 50 page, just sort of the history on Jerry Thomas and who he was. And then what he does is he takes the recipes of that Bon Vivant's Guide and he sort of breaks them down and gives them further historical context. He doesn't do every single recipe in there because if you look at Jerry bon Thomas's guide, he has so many different punch recipes. And you know, I think that he wanted to make this book a little bit more concise. So there's just a couple of punch recipes, most of the very important recipes. So what he did that was pretty remarkable was that he realized that cocktail books back in the in the, in the the 1800s, right, in the 19th century, were written with very uh, kind of antiquated volumes and measures. And so he went, went about the task of figuring out what the volume of those measures were and creating a little guide so that you can have their modern day equivalents. Then he faithfully recreated each recipe and kind of added his own flares to them to make them better. So he did a lot of testing on each recipe and it's just really, really fascinating to go through it. And then what he did, which I already said, is that he gives each drink more historical context so you really understand the era of the drink and very some very interesting stories about the things that were going on around that particular drink. It's really, really fascinating and fantastic. I could not recommend it more. This is something that really helped me out with the history of uh, cocktails and cocktail culture, it really got me fascinated with it. And honestly, it was a very big inspiration on this channel. The second book that we're gonna be talking about today is Jeffrey Morgenthaler's Bar Book. Is that what it's called? The Bar Book, yeah. This is a book that just has an exhaustive amount of information in it. It is the most comprehensive book on cocktails that I think is really out there. And what I really love about it is that you get all of Morgenthaler's personal recipes, you get all of his methods for all of the things. So a lot of the information is the same information that you're going to find in other cocktail books. But what I love about what his approach is that you find not only the how, but the why about a lot of things. He shares stories and recipes from a lot of his friends, and then also a lot of anecdotes from the 25 plus years that he's been behind the bar. This is something that it's like, if you're very, very, very beginner and you don't know which way is up, this is the book for you. So this book is, it's basically like being a bar back under Morgenthaler and learning everything that he has to teach you. The information in this book is, is like, I just imagine this is what working for Morgenthaler, this is what you learn. It is fantastic. He's, he's a heavyweight in the industry for a really good reason. Uh, and picking up this book is a must. If you're interested in this world and you're interested in making cocktails, this is required reading. So the next book we're gonna be talking about is Cocktail Codex by Alex Day and Dave Kaplan. And there's other contributors in this book as well, including Devin Tarby of The Varnish in Los Angeles, which was the back bar to Coles that I ran for a long time. And then also um, Dave Fernie, who is a fixture in the LA bar scene. This book is pretty incredible because what it does is that it breaks down every cocktail in existence into six cocktail categories and basically just posits the idea that these are root cocktails and that every cocktail after them is just a riff off one of those root cocktails. Each chapter begins with a root cocktail like an old fashioned. It shows you their preferred specs and then it shows you a modern build for it. And then it will show you all of these different cocktails that they created in that style. And what that does is really helps to break down the cocktail into all of its different parts and you get a, just an understanding of the drink from the inside out. It's pretty fantastic. The other thing that this book has in it that I really like a lot is that it goes through a lot of knowledge about bitters, different citrus elements, and a lot of advanced technique like using a sous vide and how to make syrups with uh, with that piece of equipment or uh, using an Issy Whipper, how to build a soda rig from scratch if you wanna do that. It just gives you a lot of advanced um, ideas, but it also starts in, at the beginning level. So 
it's a really good way to sort of get an overview of what, like basically how to create cocktails, but then what's possible with cocktails as you sort of evolve and start looking into more creative ways to play with flavors and technique. So it's definitely something that I would pick up. This is a little bit more of an advanced book, I would think. And I would start with, if you're really, really just starting out making cocktails, maybe do something like the bar book first, but you know, just to see what's possible with cocktails and to see how advanced it can get. It's really a fantastic read and it's definitely should be a fixture on your shelf. All right, guys, so there it is, my three favorite beginning cocktail books. Well, maybe not, okay, my two favorite beginner cocktail books and then one that's sort of a beginner intermediate-ish and advanced book uh, that I just think you should read. Now, if you've been watching this channel for any length of time or if you watch The Educated Barfly, then you'll know that I'm a kind of a cocktail book junkie and I basically collect everything. So now Marius has a second job where he goes to secondhand bookstores and he picks up cocktail books for us as well. So we have, I don't know, probably about 150 books at this point. Not as exhaustive as the owner of Cocktail Kingdom's book collection where he is basically a museum. But I will say this, if you have been influenced to buy any of these books today, please use the link below this video as that goes to our Amazon affiliate account. And when we sell books through that affiliate link, we get a little kickback on the books and it helps us to produce a show. It really goes a long way. So if a lot of you guys are doing that, we get a little kickback and this is a great thing. So please use that link. If you like this channel, definitely hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell icon to be notified about new videos. Uh, check out our, our website, theeducatedbarfly.com, where we have merch, we have our virtual bottle program, and we've been leaking out articles over time, uh, which hopefully I'll be able to carve out a little bit more time and write some more articles, but uh, there are some good ones up there now anyway. So check that out, and I will see you guys in another time.